Hello everyone, I am Pooja. I did my graduation from University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore and presently I am doing my uh, Masters in Environmental Sciences at uh, Center for Environment, and Environment Science and Climate Resilient Agriculture at Indian Agricultural Research Institute, New Delhi. Today I am going to uh, talk about career opportunities in that field which is much talked but uh, very much less understood that is Environmental Sciences. So, it is uh, the field of environmental sciences is growing at very faster rate due to the issues uh, like climate change and environment, uh, environment pollution. So, uh, this particular field is uh, also called as multidisciplinary uh, subject because it deals with various kind of uh, subjects like uh, physics, chemistry, life sciences, agricultural sciences and public health and sanitary engineering etc. So immediately after completing your plus 2 or PUC, one, can, one who is interested in doing BSc Environmental Sciences, they can approach various colleges and get to know their procedure of intake and they can get admission through that. And those uh, students who are interested in doing BSc Agriculture, they need to write either state entrance examinations or all India level examination like ICR, AIEA, UG examination. So the benefit of writing this national uh, level examination is that uh, every month you will get a scholarship and you will get top uh, farm admissions in top farm universities all over the India. And once uh, you complete your BSc Environmental Sciences, uh, you can directly uh, like the way before, uh, you can directly take admissions after writing the entrance examination of particular university or else uh, if you are doing BSc Agriculture, uh, 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 you need to write uh, ICR, EIEA, PG examination. Uh, and in this you need to take a soil science as, your, as a subject and uh, after uh, getting through that uh, examination you will get admissions in various uh, um, if you are getting good rank you will be getting uh, very good seats in top universities uh, like uh, IRI, GP Pant, etc. And, and you will get scholarship of amount at 1500 per month. So once you get in uh, admitted into NYC environmental sciences you have lot of scope to do research in your problem of interest and uh, the one who wishes to make their uh, degree very special uh, they can uh, utilize very much opportunities which they get during this degree like uh, writing research review papers articles in various uh, journals and magazines and they also get uh, very, very much opportunities to participate in international and national conferences, webinars where they can uh, uh, give their oral presentations on their research topic and also they can give poster presentations. So if they perform well and they will get certificates and awards, so these things will add to their CV and which make their de degree very much different. So, and coming to next part which is uh, NET exams. So, once you complete your masters or while pursuing itself, you can write NET exam, National Eligibility Test exam. And uh, basically there are three types of NET exams that you can write. Uh, first is UGC NET, CSRI NET, ASRB ICR NET. And uh, these NET exams are mainly written to get assistant professorship and uh, junior research uh, junior research fellowship so for uh, various indian universities and colleges uh, talking about uh, ugc net and their exam uh, pattern uh, this particular exam is conducted twice a year with two papers paper 1 and paper 2 in paper 1 uh, you will be asked questions from teaching and research aptitude uh, comprehensive um, reasoning, DI and uh, communication etc. And in paper 2 it is uh, questions will be taken up from your subject of interest and especially environmental sciences are lucky that uh, they can uh, choose uh, environmental sciences itself as their uh, optional subject and uh, they can score well. Uh, and uh, another thing about this exam is there is no negative marking. And talking about CSRI net 
and uh, this is a bit different because here there is no as such environmental science subject is not there and uh, those who are interested they can take an uh, art science as optional subject and uh, this uh, exam a question paper will be divided into three parts part a part b and part c and uh, in uh, this uh, uh, this part A, part B, part C, it will contain 20, 50 and 75 questions and the candidates are requested to answer at least uh, answer 15, 35 and uh, 25 questions uh, respectively and there will be negative marking in this exam and ASRB ICR net uh, this is another option where most of it contains most of form, uh, uh, form university form, um, uh, related uh, subjects and uh, uh, here environmental sciences subject is there you can take it is a single paper containing 150 uh, mcqs mcq questions uh, and there will be negative marking in this or net uh, qualification and also masters a degree in your hand you can um, uh, if you are interested in teaching you can approach various uh, universities and there you can uh, get a job of assistant professor and you can do teaching or else if you are interested in working under various environmental uh, projects you can also apply for that and you will be working as SRFs under various uh, research projects and you will gain lot of experience there and uh, that will also add to your CV. So, uh, otherwise if you are still interested in continuing your uh, research uh, and continuing your studies, you can take admission to PhD degree through these any of these net exams or else you can write uh, ICR, AIC, JRF or an SRF exam to get PhD seat in any of uh, top universities in India who are interested in doing their PhD abroad they can uh, give project proposals to particular universities and uh, if they are getting selected and they will be giving grants to work on that project and you will be uh, asked to uh, go there and study and uh, those people who are uh, interested in uh, being a scientist they can uh, become a scientist by writing ARS examination which will be conducted in three stages one is preliminary stages which is uh, for 150 mark and after clearing prelims they will be asked to give mains examination and that will be in three parts part a part b and part three and that will uh, be for a marks of about uh, 240 and then after clearing mains uh, candidates will be asked for uh, uh, asked to appear for interview and uh, that will be for 60 mark and finally the shortlisted candidates will be uh, uh, trained and uh, after their probationary period they will be posted as scientists in various research institutes and they will work as scientists and they will do uh, various uh, research in that uh, in uh, their uh, field of interest in research institutes. So this is all about academic part of environmental sciences and uh, higher, about higher education in this field. So uh, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Bipin Kumar sir and also Dr. Uh, Renu Singh for giving me this opportunity sh to share this information. And uh, in next video we will be dealing with job opportunities of environmental sciences.